from slide nerd this is weaves hello ladies and gentlemen what's up in this vid i'm going to talk about octal to decimal conversion there are two ways to do this i'm going to talk about both but since the second way is complex i decided to keep two separate vids on that so let's go ahead and see how that's done assuming a value then use a prefix zero now if you guys are wondering what the hell this means let's go to netbeans and see what it means so now we are going to assume a value right so we are going to say int x equals to 54 but this is going to be a decimal number you want to make this an octal number put a zero over here this is called the prefix so now if you go ahead and print system dot out dot print ln x you guys are going to see something pretty weird this is not going to be a decimal it's going to be it's 44 right you guys can see that the 054 became 44 that it automatically did the conversion from octal to decimal for us so you don't believe this let's go ahead and say let's 8 8 becomes 10 right yeah we can't have 8 over here we can have 10 over here that is gonna become 8 in the decimal control s shift f6 10 10 oh 10 is decimal let's make this octal by saying 0 at the start this 0 is very important control s shift f6 as you guys can see that it became 8 now so this is how when you assume a value take a zero at the start to show that it's an octal number so let's go ahead and see what is done when we take input from the user so when I'm taking input from the user I simply use parse int with this 8 as the second parameter it tells the compiler that the user is entering on octal number and that means you convert it to decimal and put that inside the integer variable so let's go and see how this works in that beats so here in NetBeans, I have an empty project which has a buffered reader, say system.n, then it says enter only octal number. So now we are going to take input using the standard means which we always do, integer.parse int, reader.readline. Now here is the funny thing, we are going to put a comma and give base value 8. So this tells the compiler that the user is entering only octal, convert that to decimal and print the value. So let's see system.out.println x now let's test this out okay control s shift f6 let's say enter only octal number now an octal number of 10 is equals to i think uh, 8 in the decimal yep it's working perfectly but now what happens if the user enters a non character of octal like if you see octal is only 0 to 7 right it doesn't have 8 inside so let's see what happens if the user enters 8 as the number inside let's say shift f6 enter octal number 8 exception is you guys can see if you enter anything other than the octal character it's gonna be an exception so i hope you guys understood something out of this subscribe to my channel let me know what you guys think about this thanks for watching i'll catch you guys later have a nice day